Hey, David, I think I know okay. this work. Yeah, this is the offline version of R&B City. This is China Tracy, so we can wow, fly around. Great. Don't jump, jump. Oh, and then you can fly. It's okay. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Pi Li. I'm Seek Senior Creator and the Head of Creator Affairs of M Plus. Hi, my name is David Smith. I'm the Conservator for Digital and Media Art here at M Plus. Hey, David, I feel very happy to see the R&B City again here, and uh, I haven't seen the work for many years. And this is the work by Cao Fei, a Chinese artist. And she created this work in the 2008, the year when Beijing hosted the Olympics. Basically, she invited the whole city. The work is talking about the city, urbanization, and how um, people dealing with this kind of massive, uh, rapid urbanizations in a computer game called the Second Life. Yeah, so Second Life was um a really interesting project, it's still going. It was popular into the kind of 2000s um, and was one of the first really kind of mass simulations where it was less about a game having a beginning, a middle and an end, an action element or narrative elements, but it was kind of open and free. You could do basically whatever you wanted. The whole point for the work that like people can really hang around in this cyber city and the people can meet the other people who play the game. I, I think that Chao Fei spent like four or five years on the internet to build up every part of the city and also invited art people, creators, artists, friends to come to the RMB city to play with it, to dialogue with it. So it was quite popular since then. I just feel the internet game being updated so fast. So after 2011, seems like the whole Second Life game become a, a little bit quiet. Yeah, over time, you know, the internet evolves very, very quickly. And although there are lots of efforts to try and archive parts of the internet and the catalog and log things, there is a huge amount of loss. Uh, like a lot of our digital and time-based media works, it came on a series of hard disks and flash drives. So we've migrated those into our digital preservation infrastructure. And as computers get more advanced, what we'll actually have to do is look at emulating the entire computer operating system and then render this version of RMB City within that emulated operating system. Sounds quite complicated, but it's actually um, one of the, the digital preservation routes um, that's available to us. Yeah, for me it's quite uh, poetic. It's like you're hiding into an abandoned city, like you're walking into the Bombay mm. by yourself. So on that level, it's quite interesting. Whenever you use very classic media, or you use such a high like internet media, the art can always deal in this kind of the time, the concept of the time, in a very unexpected way. You know, many people had a party here many years ago. Yeah. Did you did you visit yourself? I visited once in you know, one Friday night, <laughs> virtually <laughs> dancing, drinking, chatting, <laughs> hanging around with the art people. <laughs> After many years, I still think that this is a very crazy project. I mean, when Chao Fei decided to make this work on the Second Life, and uh, Dr. Wu Li Zi, a Swiss collector, support her to make this project and uh, he also collect the work. Was he the first mayor of RMB City or? Yeah, he was the mayor of the RMB <laughs> first, City. Yeah, so it's really, really nice that <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. the person who's uh, yeah. donated a kind of virtual copy of it to yeah. us. They're creating something not exist, they collect something that really physically <laughs> exists and then they donate it to M Plus and then we have to find a way to make that more tangible 